Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve uh, working capital financing by taking some extra problem sum. Now, this topic was already covered up earlier, but uh, due to some request, okay, uh, I have prepared another video where we are going to solve two extra sums based on working capital financing or working capital management. Okay, so, so let us see. We are going to take up two problem sums in this. Again, a very important from the exam point of view. Chalo, we start with the very first one. From the following data provided by Meza Alpha Limited, estimate the working capital requirement for the year ended 31st March 2017. The estimated activity is 2,60,000 units okay, for the entire year and in bracket they are given you 52 weeks, meaning it's all related to weeks. Raw material remain in stock for 2 weeks and production cycle takes 2 weeks. Finished goods for 2 weeks, 2 weeks is for supplier, 4 weeks for debtors, time uh, lag in payment of wages and overhead is 2 weeks. Cash uh, and bank balance to be maintained is 25,000. Selling price is 15 rupees per unit. The analysis of the cost as raw material is 33, one third percent of sale. Labor and overheads are in the ratio 6 is to 4. Profit is at 5, per, 5 rupees per unit. Also calculate the maximum permissible bank finance as per tenant committee, assuming the core current asset is 25% of total asset. Okay. So now, whenever you get such kind of sum, the very first thing what you need to prepare are two working notes. Number one will be based on your cost structure. Now, in the question, they are given you selling price is 15 rupees. Note it down. Profit is 5 rupees. Okay. And uh, uh, raw material is 33, one third percent of sales. So 15 into 33.33333, take it till the end of your calculator. And then when you press the equal to sign, you will get the 33 one third percent of 15 is 5. Okay. Profit is at 5 per unit of so profit I wrote 5. Now when you go reverse me, what in what plus 5 can give you 15? So my answer will be 10. Okay. Cost of production will become 10. Okay. What plus 5 could I have given you 15? So 10 plus 5 would have given you 15. Now your cost of production is supposed to be 10. Matlab, Raw material plus labor plus overhead. When you add up, it has to become 10. But raw material is already 5. So the remaining labor and overheads has to be a total of 5. And the ratio what they are giving you is 6 is to 4. So divide this uh, amount 5 in the ratio 6 is to 4. And you should get the value as 3 and 2. So the labor and overhead is 3 rupees and 2 rupees equally. This is the first working note that you will have to do. The second working note is based on the number of units. Okay. So I'll just erase this part. Okay. Now for number of units, very simple. Annual production divided by either 12 months if it is months, 52 if it is weeks and 360 if it is day. Now here it is already mentioned 52 weeks. So 2,60,000 divided by 52 will give you 5,000 units per week. Okay. These are the first two working notes that you need to prepare. After that, we come directly with the format. So statement showing working capital needed. Particulars, we have uh, working that is unit into rate into period and amount. Under, per, under particulars, we have current assets and current liabilities. So let us start one by one. Under current asset, number one is stock. So stock of raw material. Number of units is 5000. Rate of raw material is 5. And time required uh, raw material remain in stock for two weeks. So it will be 5000 into 5 into 2, that is unit into rate into period, which comes to 50,000. Now, again, under WIP, we have raw material. Unit will be 5000, rate will be 5. And here's given uh, the production cycle takes two weeks. So that is WIP. So 5000 into 5 into 2 comes to 50,000. Labor, it will be 5,000 into 3 into 2. But remember, for under WIEP, labor and overhead, whatever answer you get, you have to take half of that, okay? So it will be 5,000 into 3 into 2 into half, okay, which comes to 15,000. Same way for overhead, it will be 5,000 into 2 because overhead ka rate is 2. Uh, the period is 2 weeks and you have to take half of that, so which comes to 10,000. Now remember, finished goods is always on cost of production ka rate pay. So cost of production is 10. So 5,000 into 10 and finished goods uh, given in the question is two weeks. So 5,000 into 10 into 2, which gives you 1 lakh. Debtors are always on selling price unless mentioned. So selling price is given as 15. So 5,000 into 15 into 4 weeks because debtors have been given 4 weeks. 
You multiply, you get the answer at 3 lakhs. Cash has already given us 25,000. So when you add up all the current assets, the total should come to 5 lakh 50,000 rupees. In the same way, current liability may we have creditors. Number of units is 5,000. Always remember, creditors' ka rate will always be on raw material. So 5,000 into 5, period to the supplier is 2 weeks. So 5,000 into 5 into 2 comes to 50,000. Outstanding, if any, yeah, there is given a time lag in payment of wages and overheads is 2 weeks. So 5,000 into 2 into 2, uh, sorry, into 3 into 2 and that comes to 30,000 and for overhead it will be 5,000 into 2 into 2, which comes to 20,000. So 50 plus 50 when you add up it becomes 1 lakh. So your finally your net working capital will be current asset minus current liability, 5 lakh 50 minus 1 lakh which comes to 4 lakh 50,000 rupees. This is step 1 where you have to first get the working capital. Now. Let us find the maximum permissible bank finance and uh, consist assuming that core current asset is 25%. Okay? Current asset 5 lakh 50,000, current liability 1 lakh. These are the two values that you have to remember. Okay, 5 lakh 50,000 and 1 lakh. So chalo, let us see one by one how to solve. Okay, method of lending, London committee, maximum permissible bank finance. Number one, the first method says the bank can give you a finance of maximum of 75% of current asset minus current liability. Current assets were 5 lakh 50,000. Current liability was 1 lakh. So 75% of 550 minus 1 lakh, that is 4 lakh 50. When you remove 75%, your first value that you should get is 3 lakh 37,500. As per the second method, the formula is 75% of current asset minus current liability. Current asset is 5 lakh 50,000. Of that, we take 75%. Whatever answer you will get will minus it with 1 lakh. So the value that you all should get is 3,12,500. And the third method is 75% of current asset minus core current asset, which was 25% of current assets minus current liability. So 5,50,000 into 25% will get the core current asset ka value, which comes to 1,35,000, 37,500. After subtracting, whatever value you will get, you have to take it into 75%, which comes to 3,93,75. That minus your current liability of 1 lakh will give you your third answer, which is 2,93,075. Okay, so these are the three methods of maximum permissible bank finance. After solving the working capital management, you'll have to solve this particular part. Now, at times in the exam, they can also tell you just solve the first method or only the second method or only the third method or they can ask you the first and second or in either order. Okay. But these are the three methods that you all need to learn. Okay. This was the very first sum. Now, let us take another sum to understand how you need to solve working capital. Okay, the following information is presented by Data and Sun Limited for the year ending 31st, 2016-17. Uh, Estimated yearly production is 30,000 units. Material was 5 rupees, wages 3 rupees, over as 2 rupees, selling price 12 rupees. Okay, and then they are giving you adjustment. Adjustments are all based on months. Okay, they are all based on months. Okay, so chalo, let us start with the cost structure. Raw material is 5 rupees. Okay, uh, selling price first of all always noted down is 12. Raw material given is 5. Wages is 3, over S is 2, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 minus 12 is 2, okay, that will become, become our profit of 2 rupees. Next, we need to find the number of units, that will be total production 30,000 and everything is on months, so divide by 12, which comes to 2,500 units. Now, based on this, we will start with the actual preparation. Again, we start with current assets, stock of raw material, units 2,500, rate 5 rupees. And company extends, uh, let us check, where is material given to us? First is customer, yeah, raw material. The company maintains one month stock of raw material. So one month, so 2,500 into 5 into 1, which comes to 12,500. Next comes is raw, uh, under WIP, we have raw material. Uh, so raw material, ke liye again, number of units 2,500. Rate will be 5 and processing period given here is half a month. So it will be 2500 into 5 into 0 0.5 which comes to 6250 for labor 2500 into 3 into 0 0.5 and additional 0 0.5 okay remember labor and overheads will always be half so it will be 2500 into 3 into 0 0.5 that is the period given an additional 0 0.5 because that's the rule 
same way for overheads it will be 2500 into 2 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 which comes to 1250 then now for finished goods it will be 2500 into 10 because that might that's the cost of production uh, and the period given is uh, two months so it will be 2500 into 10 into 2 which comes to 50000 Next for debtors, it will be 2500 into the sales. Uh, sales selling price is 12 rupees. So into 12 into the period of debtors, customers, any name, yeah, the first name, two months. So 2500 into 12 into 2, which comes to 60,000. Cash given is 8125. So we take it as it is. We add up the total current asset. We get the total as 140,000. Similarly, for current liability, creditors, 2500 into the raw material, 5 okay uh into the supplier which is one month period so 2500 into 5 into 1 which comes to 12500 wages and overheads are paid uh one month in arrears so there is an outstanding of one one month for both so 2500 into 3 into 1 and 2500 into 2 into 1 you add up we get the total of 25000 so 140 current asset minus 25000 you will get the total net working capital as 115000 now, once we have got the networking capital, now it is very simple. We'll start with the maximum permissible limit. Again, 25% of core uh, total asset is your core current asset given in the question. So as per the first method, it is 75% of CA minus CL. CA was 140 and CL was 25,000. Subtracted whatever answer into 75% gives you 86,250. The second method is 75% of current asset minus current liability. So 1,40,000 into 75% will get one value. After getting that value, you minus 25,000, we will get a final amount, which comes to 80,000. And the third method is 75% of current asset minus core current asset, which is 25% of current asset minus current liability. Okay, again, core current asset was 25%. Of current assets, so one lakh forty thousand into twenty five percent. That's your core current asset, which comes to thirty five thousand. So one lakh forty minus thirty five thousand into seventy five percent will get one value. From that, we minus the current liability, and we'll get a final amount as fifty three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Okay. So this is how you all had to solve uh, the sum based on working capital, and thereafter finding the maximum permissible bank finance. So we were able to cover up two extra sums on this particular topic. So I hope everyone have understood that. So with that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.